Hey everybody, it's Toxic. I decided to go with a different look this time. Because I wear the same thing. Or look the same every time. So I decided to go all red. Because it kind of matches my red contacts. Um, anyways. So I figured I would do my um, Q&A. So. Let's get to it. Let's see. Um, how did you become a model for the line you model for? I already have a YouTube video on that. Um, so I'll put the link in the description. Um, what is my favorite food to eat in Little Space? Um, usually cookies. But, okay, how did you and your master meet? Uh, that's a long story. I think I've already explained that once. Maybe. I can't remember. Maybe I should do a separate video on that. Because that would make this Q&A kind of long. Um, uh, okay, I guess I can answer it. It'll take a while, so. Here we go. Um, so it started, my parents were divorced. And my mom and I moved to a small town called Thornbill. No one usually knows where that is, so don't worry about it. Um, so we were living there. And our friend Ryan, our friend, because he was Master's friend too, um, lived across the street. Well, beforehand, he was engaged to a girl, and so she cheated on him, and she left, or he kicked her out. And Master was living with a friend, and his friend decided to spend money instead of paying for rent. So Master got kicked out of his house. So. Ryan, our friend Ryan needed a roommate, Master needed a roommate, so he asked him to come over. Or he asked him if he could stay with him. So then he, Ryan showed him me, and Master said that there was a reason he needed to meet me, but he didn't know why. So for a while, we, you know, we didn't talk. Ryan said he had a new roommate, and that was pretty much it. Um, and then eventually, Mom and I went over to borrow movies and I saw um, Master there. I had never met him, never really seen him, I just saw him there. And uh, we kind of did the whole, you know, don't see me looking at you, you see me looking at you thing. And uh, he finally added me on MySpace and we started talking that way. And what really caught my attention was two things he said. I was actually dating someone at the time. He was an abusive asshole. So there's two things he said. One, he started my spark for uh, actually being a submissive by saying he wanted to put a submissive in a cage. So, which broke our friend Ryan or something like that. And so that kind of sparked me like, hey, okay, that sounds awesome. You know, like, that's something I'm really interested in too. I've always been, I've always been knowing that I've needed something or been into something since I was a little kid, actually. Um, I know it sounds bad. A lot of people don't understand that, but I'm really quite smart for my for my age, I've always been really intelligent, so at a young age I automatically knew I needed something in my life. Um, so when he said that, and then the other thing was he said he was going to come over and show up in a Sith robe and tase my ex-boyfriend. So, oh and he also had the Muppets, he knew who the Muppets were, that was another <laughs> that was another deal breaker for me. I absolutely love the Muppets, I've loved the Muppets since I was a kid, and uh, so it just started out, um, it started out talking, and then he asked me to come over, so I came over, and then I eventually left my ex-boyfriend for Master, but I was collared to Master before we even started dating, and then he was finally like, okay, so we're gonna do this or not, so <laughs> that's just, that's kind of how it happened, um, yeah, sorry, that was a little long, let's see, how did you go about discussing Little Play and Kit and Play with him for the first time? Well, Master already knew pretty much about about Kit and Play because he was in BDSM before I met him. So he knew about Pony Play and all that stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure he knew about Little Play too. But um, I just told him I was, I guess since he was already into it, I just kind of told him that I was, I've always felt like a kitten. I've always felted, felted, I've always felt connected to cats. So that's kind of how that one got started. And then Little Play... Um, I've always talked like a little, so I kind of like was like, hey, do you mind if we try, or if I try, um, little play, because, uh, 
he's okay with me calling him daddy and stuff, but uh, he's not into the diapers and the onesies and stuff, but he's okay with me dressing up and doing it by myself, which is cool because it's really relaxing and calming for me and it helps with my anxiety. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure how you'd go about explaining it. I guess you could just try and show them um, and just explain that it doesn't have to be the way you see it. We can make it our own way because you can do that. There is, like I said in my Instagram photo, there's no set rules in BDSM. The only rules really that you should follow is consent and talking. Um, so, uh, how long have you guys been together? We've been together seven years. Um, what animal would you want as a pet and why? I would love to have a bat because I love bats. They're so cute. Let's see. What's your favorite little space toy? Hmm. I have to say my my block thing that you put the little shapes in. The block shape. I'm not sure exactly what that's called. <laughs> but the block shape thing. Let's see, why and when did you start your YouTube? Oh goodness, I started my YouTube like three years ago. Um, I started it because I wanted to do, do geek stuff. And then eventually it changed into what it is now. So I've made, I actually made a new channel for my geek stuff. So I can talk about Warhammer and show Master and I'm playing Borderlands and stuff together. And I actually, once I get a camera for the PS4, I kind of want to try and record my live stream Twitches. Or my Twitches live streams, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Is there any other BDSM things you're into besides pet play and little play? Um, well, the usual spanking, vlogging. Um, I'd love to do blood play, but with me being a model, I can't have scars, so, and so we can't do that, sadly. Um, we've tried the, the, the peeing thing, being peed on, I'm kind of okay with that, <laughs> um, yeah, so, that's pretty much the extent of it, like, we don't really do, oh, I like breath play, um, we don't really do the extreme stuff, or like, the really weird stuff, um, I do want to eventually try, uh, dollification, I think that'd be fun. Are there any animals you play as besides kitten and pony? Um, I eventually would like to do bunny. I've already got a bunny bunny ears. I still need a bunny tail. And I've contemplated dog, but I'm not so sure. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. Would you ever do a meet and greet? Why and why not? I've thought about it, yes. Um, but I feel like no one would come, like, because I'm in Ohio, and not everyone lives in Ohio, and I can't really afford to travel everywhere, and I don't even know where all my fans are from. I mean, I know I did ask where you're from, but everyone answered so many different places that I wouldn't be able to pick just one place. So it, maybe eventually if I ever got more internet famous enough, maybe I'd do a meet and greet. I'm not really like Pinky Princess and Scream Kiwi. I'm still kind of a little guy right now. How many chaos models have you met in person? None, sadly. I'd love to, but I have met none, sadly. How do you like being a chaos model? I love it. Um, PK and Puppy Shy are fun to work with. Uh, let's see. Oop. Do you receive gear and do a shoot every month? No. You get gear every so often. And I do photo shoots. I try and do photo shoots every month, but that's just because uh, it's me. I'm always motivated to do a kitten play shoot because I love, I love it. I just, and I have a local photographer here that's okay with shooting it. And I've been trying to get a couple of local photographers to join in. So, how many places do I model for? Well, it depends on what you're asking. <laughs> like, because... I'm also on Zivity. I was on Suicide Girls. I've gotten sent free t-shirts every so often to model for companies. 
Um, I used to be on Cosplay Deviants. I'm on Vampire Freak, so it's not really modeling for them, but um, I do some stuff for Trippy Creations. Um, the main ones I model for right now would have to be AV Dreams, uh, Chateau, and Kitten Settings. Although Chateau, I don't really take photos very often because they're just kind of. Um. Which do you like better, foxes or pandas? I can't choose. I like both. <laughs> so there is no choosing. There's no 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 being able to choose there. Let's see. I have more questions. Here we go. Okay. How do you know you how did you know you were little? I've always actually had little tendencies. I've always caught myself talking like a little kid to my mom or asked her. So it's just kinda I don't know, it just kinda came naturally for me. Are you still a kid? Yes. I will never stop being a kid. That's never not gonna happen. <laughs> I am too much like a cat and enjoy um being your kitten for that to go away. How long have you been into BDSM? Seven years. I've been in it as long as I've been with Master. So, seven years. Let's see. Don't know if this has been answered yet, but do you want to have children one day? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> nope. I am getting to the point where I'm getting too old, and I'm not really interested in having children. If I ever want to have children, I'd maybe adopt. But that's it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually have. I don't actually want to have children, so. Um, I don't have the patience. I have pets. And I sometimes don't have the patience for them, so. <laughs> Let's see. Any tips for couples starting to explore BDSM? We've been into restraining it and thing and going the next step. Then we found out about BDSM and all the entails and now looking at seeing if we'd both enjoy it. Just struggling on how to get go about it as it's new with us. Um, definitely want to talk it out. Um, you can always try things out and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. Um, there's, you have your set boundaries. Um, always learn about different fetishes and stuff before you jump into them. Um, and then there's, uh, like I said, you can try it and see if you like it, and if you don't, you don't have to do it. Me, I'm always curious, so Master and I try, have tried a few things. Like I talked about earlier, the peeing. I wasn't sure I was gonna like that, but if I'm in the bathtub and there's water running on me, I'm completely okay with it. Um, but everyone has their boundaries, everyone has things they like and things they don't like, um, but it's definitely a dynamic. There's always a dynamic with BDSM. Um, there's being a submissive in the bedroom, and then there's being a 24-7 submissive. Um, me, I'm 24-7. Um, the slave trading has kind of... <sighs> we gotta get back to doing that. Our life got kind of busy, I got sick and stuff like that, so we haven't really been doing that, but, um, there's definitely the sub and dom aspect that you guys need to talk about, too. Um, how much you're willing to hand over, how much you're not willing to hand over, um, how much you want him to control, how much you don't want him to control, and always make sure that he knows that you're the submissive, but you technically make the rules. If you don't like something, you can flat out say no. Um, I have other BDSM videos on here, uh, you might want to watch those, that'll help out a lot too, because I also talk about hand signs and stuff like that, and how serious coloring is, and all that stuff. Um, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would I would live? We'd have to be Japan, because I absolutely love the Japanese culture, I love the styles, the clothing styles, and everything, so it'd definitely be Japan. Do I have a morning and every morning with your daddy and something you do every night? We don't have anything we do in the morning because he leaves before I get up. Um, at night time, we used to, I used to have him read me some of the um, adult books, like not as an adult like sex books, but as in like the adult um, books. I used to have him read me Warhammer and The Keep. 
Um, so we hopefully can get back into that before bed. So it's kind of like a story time before bed kind of thing. Do I have a favorite diaper? And uh, have you ever wet? No. Definitely no on that one. Um, do I have a favorite diaper? Right now it's hard to pick. I kind of like the Tykables. I kind of like the Dottie the Ponies. Um, I haven't tried on the DCL more, uh, more yet, but I have one of those. Um, I like the Rears, uh, the Rears Safari ones. I need to actually get those in a small. Because sadly, sadly medium divers don't fit me very well. But, um, so, yeah, uh, that's all the questions I got. If I, um, hopefully I'll do another one of these maybe next month or the month after that or whatever. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the answers and I hope you guys will stick around and ask me more questions later. Um, hopefully I can try and be a little bit more open with my life with you guys. I'm just kind of sucky at doing that. Um, I don't know why, but I just don't usually post up a lot of personal stuff. But I'll try to be more personal on Instagram. Um, so, oh wait, I had one question on Tumblr. I don't know if I can find it now though. I've reblogged so much stuff. So I posted it up on Tumblr too. I totally just forgot that. Let's see here. I should be able to find it. Video, video. Favorite shot to bite ears from, and how long have you and your dog been together? Okay, that one's already been answered. Um, favorite shot to bite ears from, I can't pick. I like a lot. Like, I like these ones from Kittens and Honey. I love my kitten sounding ears. I love my wooden creatures ears. So, um, I guess that would be a few of them. Hoshkins is good. So I guess those are the few that would I would that I I have that are my favorite. Um, so okay, so that's all the questions. Um, hopefully I answered them. I always say um. Uh, hopefully you guys understood any of those answers. If not, leave questions below, or you know leave a comment when I post it on Instagram that this is up. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.